Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black Sea, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to take a look at the crypto market, see what's going on with Bitcoin, maybe take a little bit of a look at some altcoins, and give you my opinion on where I think we are headed here. So without further ado, let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading back above $43,000, up about 0.63% on the day. Bitcoin dominance, once again, is starting to get a little bit of a rally. Very minimal. We're up about about a percent on the day since the weekend, up at 49.89%. When you exclude stablecoins, it's more so like 52%, somewhere around there. But we are seeing some of that liquidity from the altcoins moving back into Bitcoin. Bitcoin did just make kind of a larger move. We'll take a look at that right now. But uh, guys, be patient right now. I think that what this is starting to look at, we definitely have somewhat of topped out in the short term. I mean, this candle is a is a given this is a very top signal type of candle right here i think uh the ta experts would call it a shooting star where it has this big wick to the upside but that being said guys i am definitely leaning into the idea here that we're probably going to be trading sideways and a lot of the volatility will be subsided for a little bit of time maybe anywhere from uh two months to five months but i think that the rest of this quarter you're not going to be don't be shocked if you don't see anything more than sideways and maybe down a little bit. Maybe a, a test to say the forty thousand or thirty-eight thousand dollar price level somewhere around there. I don't necessarily think that we could come any much further down below there. I think people are still excited about the Bitcoin spy ETF, and now people are going to be starting to talk about the Bitcoin having. Haven't seen too many people start to talk about that. Kind of the t main talking point right now is people talking about the Ethereum ETF and how that will be the next thing. But my mind isn't really moving to that because, guys, let's be honest here. Um, Bitcoin's one thing, but making an ETF out of Ethereum and any of these other coins could take years. It, it could take another cycle before that becomes a thing. And I know that you see BlackRock talking about these things and whatnot, but um, I think it's a little bit further down the line. I mean, it was like pulling teeth getting this Bitcoin spy ETF approved. So be patient when it comes to that. And I think that the main thing that we should be looking at here is the halving. The halving's a, a few months away, guys, and I don't think that we're going to be breaking new all-time highs into the halving. I think a much more appropriate price action would probably be something like what I just said, how we would spill down, maybe come to around the 37000 trade sideways for a few months, and then slowly start to make our way back to the upside, maybe uh, in the third quarter of 2024, maybe at the end of the second quarter, somewhere around there. But I do think that um, right now, be prepared for some sideways boring price action. I think a lot of the excitement is going to get pulled away slowly. And I do want to say that's a good thing. It is a very good thing, guys. We want to see that consolidation. We want to see higher lows get put in place around that $37,000, $38,000 price. So maybe we don't even break below forty, But we want to see that happen. We want to see higher lows, a new formation, consolidation, so that we can go higher. If we're not getting that consolidation, then the moves to the upside will be very short-lived, and they'll come down swiftly, just as fast as they came up. We want to see an elongated market. We want to see that these moves stair-step, consolidate, because then we get higher price targets, guys. The higher Bitcoin goes, the higher your altcoins go. The longer Bitcoin goes up, the higher everything goes up. It's as simple as that. But uh, be patient, guys, because I do think that... Um, Right now, Bitcoin might get a little bit boring. And, I, and yes, I, I do think Ethereum, there's a world here where Ethereum starts to make a move to the upside while Bitcoin trades sideways in the next two months or so. I do think if we can see a stab at about $2,800, you might see a altcoin rally, which would be quite significant. I think that that is definitely on the table. But... Um, the main takeaway I want you guys to know is that I think that we're going to be trading sideways for at least two months on Bitcoin. I think that we're going to be moving slowly, consolidating. Um, I mean, guys, we've been rallying for over a year straight. It's pretty incredible. But I do think that uh, right now it's time to consolidate. It's time to consolidate a little bit. We got our little top signal trying to break above 45,000. It didn't close above, and now we're back down. It's... We're right on schedule, guys. We're right on schedule. The halving's coming up. We're on schedule. We're on schedule. Be patient. 
Let's take a look at Crow Coin a little bit because I know you guys like when I talk about Crow. Crow is, you know, <laughs> it's doing exactly to be expected. I, I've been talking about in the previous videos that Crow Coin is the type of coin that waits. It uh, it does not break out until the very end of the bull market. Uh, when there's max hype in the space, that's when you see Crow Coin make some big, big moves. That's how it played out in the previous cycle. I've been in this for a long time and... That's just kind of the price section. It's, it's not very similar to, say, Solana or to um, Ethereum, Cardano. It doesn't move in the same way. And, I mean, Ethereum and Solana are completely different things as well on how they move. But each coin almost has, I know this sounds ridiculous, but each coin almost has a personality in how it moves based on the type of traders that are involved in it. And uh, Crow Coin to me, moves with a swift move to the upside towards the end of the cycle after the liquidity has moved into ethereum and ethereum has trickled down to the altcoins which we haven't really seen yet we started to see ethereum make that move after the bitcoin spy etf was approved and we saw that move up to 2600 bucks which we are holding up pretty pretty nice right now at 2541 maybe we'll start to see that maybe we'll start to see it sooner than later but i do still think that croquin probably won't move until we get further on into the cycle, maybe in 2024, quarter three, or maybe even early 2025. I mean, that's really not that far away, guys. I mean, we could be peaking out in the winter of 2025. That wouldn't be out of the question. It would not be out of the question at all. Maybe even, you know, I, th I think at the latest, it would probably be the winter of 2025 uh, in like December or so. But um, yeah, guys, we're on schedule here. Everything looks good. I'll be sure to let you guys know if we see anything that deviates and looks bad. But anything above $30,000, $32,000, this price level here, we're in the clear. We're safe. There's not anything really to worry about. I think um, long-term price action is still very bullish. But guys, if you like this type of content, please like this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Also, please go check out some awesome referral links we have down below. We have a $4,100 sign-up bonus to Femex, a $8,000 sign-up bonus to BitGet. Also, please go follow me on Twitter at 333BlackC. I'm very, very active over there. You can follow me in the description box below this video as well. But that's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.